What is the time knife? Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of The Good Place, Season 3, Episode 12. It has been a busy day, I've got six videos done today, and I think I'm losing my voice, which is great for everyone in this house. <laughs> if you would like to see the full, unedited reaction, the link is down below for the Patreon, and all my other social media links are there as well. Uh, so yeah, let's just get in this now and have some fun. And I believe that when she hears what I've discovered about the point system, she'll take our side. If not, then we'll jump through a portal to another dimension, hope our molecules don't liquefy, and regroup from there. Excuse me. So no pressure then. No pressure. Here are your options. Option number one. <laughs> Cruel, but necessary. But what was... What was option two, though? <laughs> Boy, permits must have been a headache. Looks like we're inside a Diane von Furstenberg pattern. So the writer's room for this episode were just, were just like, what, passing around the blunt? And then we're like, but this, but this, though, giant hands, though. Yeah, definitely. Do you want to try being boyfriend-girlfriend? I'm not a girl, but... Yes, I'd very much like to go on a date with you somewhere sometime. As opposed to here, which is nowhere at all the times. <laughs> Definitely drugs. Uh, so yeah, I mean, don't get us wrong. Hashtag Jazznet for life. But what about Tahani? I mean, what's happening there? Is it just really over now? No, no feelings there? It's, it's all good? No more rule breaking. Oh yeah, really cool. Because it kind of <laughs> looks like you stole a book from a cabin! No more rule breaking. Anymore. Starting now. Yeah. Oh. Nailed it. There you go. Problem solved. So, Christopher Ensel and Joe Mandy, how high were you? Hello, GD. That is a great look for you. Things don't work out here with old Blondie. You know who to call. This bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is on me right now? Oops. Where'd you come from, little buddy? Oh! Thank Jesus, because I was starting to trip balls there. Your big revelation is life is complicated? That's not a revelation. <laughs> That's a divorced woman's throw pillow. I mean, this guy chose this tomato. Those are the consequences. You don't want the consequences? Do the research. Buy another tomato. What else you got? But then surely, if you did the research, you'd have to go onto the internet. And having the internet means you've got power. And having power means you're contributing to global warming. And th there you go. So more lost points. You're screwed no matter what. I used to yell at Big Noodle because he always showed up late to rehearsal. Then one day, the swamp under my house flooded. I needed a place to crash, so I slept at Big Noodle's house. Turns out that he had to juggle three jobs to take care of four grandparents who all lived in the same bed. Just like in Willy Wonka. I never yelled at Big Noodle for being late after that because I knew how hard it was for him to be there. I mean, I, I have a problem with that, Willy Wonka. The granddad couldn't get up and do housework. But as soon as he got a free tour around a chocolate factory, he, he was cured of his disabilities. He was definitely claiming bad checks for his disability. Definitely. Yeah, sure. I'll give it a shot. I've got a free weekend. I'll go down there, see what you guys go through. And then, one way or another, this is going to end. Hey, do you guys know a good place where I can get Mexican food? Oh, Mexico, duh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> but is it just called food there? Think, yeah. First thing I did was I googled big juicy natural tomatoes. Which led me to a porn site <laughs> that was for people with a sunburn fetish. Or... Right, um, I'm gonna need a pen and paper. Just, uh, what was that again? I'll have to watch that back. Big, juicy, I've forgotten it already. Big, juicy tomatoes, it's a ripe, yeah. We'll, we'll just watch it back, it's fine. Don't worry about it, I've got it. I have reason to believe that humans might be on average better than the point system suggests they are. Counterpoint. Humans are terrible. Limp biscuit, slavery, the prosecution rests. Got us. <laughs> That's the two. Limp biscuit and slave. Jesus Christ. I mean, he didn't even mention Nickelback. That's it. I know what we have to do. Oh, he forgot we're still in the IHOP. Anybody got eyes on cheating? Can 
someone grab my tiny boyfriend, please? I'm on it. <laughs> so that's what you have been calling them. I just thought they were called Viper. Yep. A single blade. Yeah, yeah. The time knife. We've all seen it. Let's get back on track, bud. No, oh, okay, sure. What I was saying um, before, you know, I saw the time knife <laughs> is this. Michael. What is the time knife? <laughs> I build a new neighborhood. We choose four new people, tell them they're in the good place, create challenges for them, track their progress. My guess is they will do what the original four did. Seek help, support each other, make wise decisions, improve. If they do, then it's proof that humans are not bad, full stop, end of story. So another experiment, not with these people, with four new people. Okay, I, I could go for that. You need my backyard for what? We're conducting an important experiment. Okay, you know what? I don't care. In fact, as soon as I started asking the question, I thought to myself, why are you asking this? You don't care about the answer. Do whatever you want, just leave me out of it. And if you want to talk to someone, talk to Derek. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. Yeah, she's definitely my spirit animal because uh, I'm the same. Why did I ask when I don't even care? Hi. I'm Derek. Welcome to the medium place. Derek, why are you so different? You have Mindy to thank for that. See, she found a plunger sticking out of the ground behind our house, and every time she hits it, I pass out. When I come to, I'm a little bit smarter and a little bit better. <laughs> wow. Uh-oh. Sorry, Jason, you got some competition. So do I. Good. That means it's a fair compromise. So, one last issue. Where do we get all the other residents for this place? Well, my original neighborhood was built for torture, so everyone was a demon. We can't have that. I say we get them from the good place. Over my dead skin suit. Well, what a Half and half, and get Eleanor, Chidi, Tahani, and Jason in there as well. Deal? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Ow! I mean, they're just shaking your hand. They don't even hurt. This house was built to torture you. Why did you have Michael recreate it exactly? Well, in the memories I watched, this was where we fell in love. So I figured, why mess with success? I mean, ugh, what am I saying? This house is stupid and you're lame and I hate you. Yeah, that house is gross and scary. It really, really is. Definitely changed the, the clowns. It's very John Wayne Gacy. Check back in and out. You're doing so good, Janet. Thanks, Jason. Making people is exhausting. Can't help but notice you're making a bunch of people. Oh, did he just almost cock block him there? Yeah, the, the joke is because he's got an almost penis. Um, because he was just about to kiss her, it looked like, from my point of view anyway. And then Derek ruined it. Why is there a lemon in that, <laughs> in that glass? Why don't you at least switch it up once in a while? Try using teeth flatteners and bees with penises. <laughs> oh God, please don't. We should have done this shell strop style. Don't prepare at all, get drunk the morning of the test, BS our way through it, and then brag about how we didn't even study and still got a C plus. <laughs> so what do we got, man? I gotta go give everyone a heads up, remember? Uh, his name is John, um, some sort of journalist. No major crimes or atrocities. Is he out there right now? Mm -hmm. He's called John, he's definitely a bad dude. <laughs> they all are. Remember the whole plan? I do remember. That's why I can't do it. It's just too scary. Oh. Oh, 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 no! Hello? Oh, uh... So it looks like Eleanor's maybe gonna have to introduce him. <laughs> That's gonna go well. Um, I think one episode left of this season now. It's it's getting near the end. And then one full season and it's bye-bye, the good place. It's sad. Hopefully they'll do a movie. Um, I mean, I don't know how it ends. It could have the perfect ending and I'm saying that and everyone's like, no, it's perfect the way it is. Just like you, Paul. Oh, thanks. Um, but yeah, a really, really good episode. Oh my God. <clears throat> Eleanor and Chidi, 
amazing I ship them with so damn hard but what's going on with Janet and Jason and Tahani I mean is that just literally Tahani's just like oh it's fine I mean I guess I'll just have to watch it and find out uh, as ever thank you for your support I really do appreciate it. you're all awesome thank you for your patience and I will see you all again very soon for more the good place reaction videos